Hi, thank you for showing your interest in online controlled experiments. In this paper, we show how to diagnose and resolve a sample ratio mismatch, one of the most common data quality issues that we face when running online controlled experiments. Before we dive into our results, consider for a moment how software products get developed. There are many ideas that people believe will improve the product, yet very few of them succeed in doing that. Now to evaluate which ideas are great, Controlled experiments, also known as A-B tests, are the golden standard in online software companies. In the simplest A-B test, users are split in half at random. One half of them receives user experience A and the other half user experience B. Locks and telemetry data are collected from both groups and statistical tests are used to determine whether there is a significant difference between the two. Controlled experiments, however, are very sensitive to data quality issues. One of the most common ones is an SRM, a sample ratio mismatch. This indicator tells us whether our observed split of users differs from the one that was expected, or more accurately, configured in the beginning of the experiment. An experiment with an SRM has bias in the data, which can lead to incorrect conclusions. A simple chi-square test can be used to detect whether an experiment has an SRM. However, it does not explain why there is an SRM. Based on our experience, there are many different reasons. Therefore, figuring out which one it is can take a very long time. In this paper, we provide practitioners with two main contributions. First, we provide the taxonomy of SRMs and their root causes. Second, we provide 10 rules of thumb to support the SRM investigations. We also show real-world A-B tests that had a puzzling outcome due to an SRM and discuss tips to detect and prevent SRMs from happening. To give you a flavor of our results, here is the SRM taxonomy illustrating that we identified five major categories of SRMs, each with several different root causes. For example, SRMs can happen in the experiment assignment stage due to corrupted device IDs, or they can happen in the experiment execution stage due to one of the variants logging more or less telemetry, or later on due to incorrect joins. They can also happen in the experiment analysis stage due to wrong conditions used for the starting or the stopping point of an experiment. This taxonomy reveals how extensive this problem is, and it can be used by practitioners to structure their investigation process and accelerate the resolution. So, these were a few root causes and a short intro to our work. If you are curious to learn more, we invite you to read our paper. Thank you.